Hello everyone, today I will be proving a circle theorem question. So the question is, prove that the angle subtended at the circumference by a semicircle is a right angle. So what does it mean by that? Let's start off by drawing a circle. Not the best circle, but we can live with that for the time being. And let's draw the angle in the semicircle. Okay. So we are proving that the angle subtended at the circumference by a semicircle is a right angle. So angle subtended at the circumference is this angle here. And that's the uh, semicircle. And we are proving that this angle is a right angle or 90 degrees. Okay, let's get to the proof. Now uh, in your exam, they might just give you the question or they might give you a diagram and you might need to use that diagram to actually prove your answer. So we have a circle with center O and we have a triangle APB. So what we need to prove is this angle here is 90 degrees. So we are proving angle APB is 90 degrees degrees. Now let's start off by drawing a radius, not a very straight line, so let's make it straight. Okay, so we have created two triangles by splitting a PB triangle with a radius. Okay, now we know that a radius of a circle is always the same length. So OA is a radius, OB is a radius, and OP is a radius. So we can say that these three lines are equal. Now, triangle APO is a isosceles triangle and how do we know that? We know that because these two sides are equal therefore the base angles are going to be the same and then triangle POB is an isosceles triangle as well because PO and OP both sides are the same of an isosceles triangle so the base angles are the same. Okay. Now let's get to the actual proof. Let's call this angle A. Because it's a isosceles triangle, this angle here is going to be A as well because it's part of the same triangle, uh, triangle APO. Let's call this B. And this angle here is going to be B as well because we know that isosceles triangle has two equal angles. Now, let's write down an equation. Now, we know that angles in a triangle are up to 180 degrees. So let's add, so we are looking at triangle A, P, B, the original triangle that was given in the diagram, this triangle here. Okay, so in triangle APB, we have angle A, we have angle APB has two split, two angles, which is A and B, so those two added together, A plus B. And finally we have angle B here. Now all these angles added together, we can say it is equal to 180 degrees. Now we have ourselves an equation. Let's solve the equation 
So we have a at a is 2a and b at b is plus 2b and they're both equal to 180 degrees. Now what we can do is divide both sides by 2 or we can do what we can do is factorize the left hand side to brackets a plus b is equal to 180 degrees. Now we can divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 left with just 1. So left with a plus b on the left side and 180 divided by 2 is 90. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 90 degrees. So these two angles here added together is equal to 90 degrees. So we have proved that angle A, P, B is 90 degrees. Therefore, angle subtended at the circumference by a semicircle is a right angle. Now, on the next video, I'll be proving the other circle theorem. So please do subscribe and share it with your friends who you think can get benefited from these videos. I will be posting more videos hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for watching Mr. Mahmood helping you do better in maths.